In this problem, we want to factor our polynomial completely. So we first look at the number of terms, because if the polynomial has four or more terms, we try using grouping. If there's three terms, we factor our trinomial. If there's two terms, then we have the choices of the sum or difference of cubes or the difference of squares. But of course, we always look for the greatest common factor first. So we'll start this polynomial by looking for our greatest common factor. And then because there's two terms, we'll test to see if those two terms are perfect cubes, in which case we'd have the sum or difference of cubes, or if it's the difference, meaning subtraction, between two perfect squares. So looking at this problem, we can see we have x to the fourth plus 1. There is no greatest common factor, so we can't start there. Looking at the two terms, they're not perfect cubes, so it cannot be the sum of perfect cubes. But because it's addition, it can also not be the difference of squares. Even though they're perfect squares, difference means subtraction, which we don't have. Since none of our methods for factoring a polynomial with two terms will work, that means this one cannot be factored, and therefore we call this polynomial prime.